This is Deforum Studio. You have to go to deforum.studio, and this is the Explore page. So you can see some of the types of styles that the forum can render. This is for Ben Nash, some awesome ones. Dave Sand, he's here. Different things like that. What I'm going to do over here on the left is go to, let me see, my animation. So you can see some of the animations I've created so far with the forum. And there's a lot of different styles of evolution. Um, you can do, use, you can render videos in square, portrait, or widescreen. And you pick from us uh, quite a few different styles where you can have it morphing and evolving in and out. There's lots of different things here. So I'm going to go over here to the animate screen. And I'm going to use an image prompt. You can upload your image. And let me see, I'm going to do another inception style. So it's going to go ahead and upload that image. You can type in a short prompt. Um, I'll type cityscape in the style of inception with a man standing in between buildings. All right. So you can, it's, Choose how much you want the image to influence the, you want it to be more of a text influence from their text prompt or more from the image. I'll go a little bit higher for, I want the image to influence it because it's a pretty cool image. You can decide whether you want, you can double the length of your man animation and it will have a silky slow-mo effect. So you see it starts out here with 15 seconds to 30 seconds. I'm gonna click this and now it changes from 30 to 60 seconds. I'm going to stick with 30 for now. Um, I want to change this aspect ratio to widescreen 16, point, 16 by 9. For the prompt style, I will use, I like to choose none for a lot of these if I want it to stay photorealistic. But you do have several op options here. If you can choose photographic, pixel art, cubic, cubist, graffiti, hyperrealism, dreamscaped, uh, grunge. There's all types of different ones here. And also the X, the real estate, the photography, food photography, advertising. Um, I think I'll go, I think Lovecraftian's an interesting one. Stack paper cut, silhouette, neon noir. I will go with, how about I'll just do cinematic. Now try that. For the motion presets, you can choose what type of motion you want to have. Anything from the classic zoom in, zoom out. Classic, evolving, fast, evolve portal, fly through, look around, move, warp, dolly zoom out, flashbacks, grids. The grids are pretty cool. Um, let me see. Shapes, stars, swipe down, zoom in, zoom out. Um, this is always hard for me to decide what I'm going to do. Um, classic stop motion. How about... I like I like this image and that's why I try to decide what do, what do I want to do with this? How about I do fly through? Okay? And then you just click animate. When you start when you'll see that it's running and I do have a subscription. You do need a subscription uh for Deforum Studio because, you know, it costs money to run this stuff and with um the subscription, you can purchase additional credits, things like that. I'll go over here for like a bit. Oh, here's the pricing. And that is, you can top up to tw with 20 credits. It's $8 one time. And you can top up again anytime. And you can have general commercial terms up to three concurrent generations. The Forum Explorer is 50 credits a month, $15 a month there. You can top up to 20 credits for $6.75 instead of $8. Cancel at any time. That's pretty cool. You can have up to three generation gener videos generating at the same time. And then the Deforum Pro is 120 credits a month, $30. And that you still have the general commercial terms. Cancel at any time. Private generations. You can hide your animation 
and your prompts from the main feed. Okay. So they also have a page with guides, which is very helpful. So you can see the web app guide, the motion presets, so you can understand how they work. This is always very helpful. So you can understand um, how they'll look, what the motion presets will look like. And right now, I think that you could do that in the Discord bot. Um, if you're in using the Forum Studio within Discord, and of course, you can still use your uh, the forum any way you like um, with if you download it and run it locally. So you can see what the X dolly zoom out looks like, X move spin. I should have looked at this before I started my video. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, and you could just kind of understand the liquid flow. It's super cool. X portal, love it. Slide through spin. So you can kind of get an idea of how that works. And that takes you to another screen. So let's go to my animations. And my animation, I had one that I started right before I started this video. And this is the one that's processing right now. So let's see how far this one is. Oh, it's finished now. So this is a similar one I did. And, oh, it's 90% processed. It's not all the way finished. But you can see it as it's beginning to form and it's almost finished, but you also can see the frames, which is very cool. You can go and see specific frames and you can also see that on your recent animations and the previous animations. When you download the video, you can download it by frames um, or you can download the full video. So this is really cool. And you can choose to rerun it it has my settings there for this particular generation. I put a longer prompt in, no prompt style, and I use the X dolly zoom out for the motion preset. This thing came out better than I had hoped. I love this. So right now, let's see what's going on with this one that I did when we started the video. And this is giving me a different effect, which I could combine to my other video and have a pretty cool longer video with the same style but just a slightly different the same overall image and concept but with a slightly different style with that different motion preset i like that you can kind of see it as it's going and you can cancel it if you're not happy with um how it's turning out um let me see i'll show this one this is one that was in landscape, just so you can kind of see. Wait, it didn't pull up. It's loading. I guess it's been a while since I accessed this. But now yours. we're looking at one of my older generations, which is pretty cool. This, I did in the prompt style digital art. I used Evolve Glitch. Um, it's set for slow motion, 30 seconds, and portrait. So you can download here the video or the frames and you'll get the frames in a zip file and you can kind of go through and inspect the different frames to see if you want to change something within your entire um, video. If you want to do that in a video editor later, you can choose individual images. You can put them in um, as final frame somewhere or just change that, do different interpolation or whatever you want to do um but yes the forum has such great um styles and you just get a different look with that you don't get everywhere and with this smoother interface it's much easier for people to use if you're not familiar with the forum i don't have the forum um loaded on my uh laptop here so this is fun for me because i can still be creative while using something uh, as cool as this. So it really helps out. Um, it's just a really fun way to generate videos that are slightly different. And you can, especially with the slow motion, you can really kind of get a very smooth, silky um, result so that it's not as morphing as much, but you can also, you know, you don't have to do the slow motion and you can get the traditional style. So, 
this is deformed and let me see how far this is almost finished here it's getting there and you'll see it getting clearer and clearer as it gets closer to being finished looks pretty awesome i love how it takes the original image and just kind of does just amazing um transformation and different types of things with it where it's just reimagining it you can see the city below it's just awesome but this is deformed